Hey everyone, Jiffer here, and welcome to Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. So let's get into this, I'm not waste any more time. And I'm gonna play in story mode, I don't care. I'm here for the story, I don't need a challenge. <laughs> Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed.
You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Alright. I think I'm even. weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Oh, that's, that girl scared me. <laughs> Give me a Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. That it is. I love how every video game has these little obstacles you gotta go through to learn, which makes sense, but I don't know. I think we can get through going? here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Yes, let's do it. Wild Churvel is what I picked up. I don't know what that is. Looks steady enough. Yeah, okay. Sure. I I personally would not trust it. Yeah. Watch out! Yeah. <laughs> I would not have done that. Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Hmm. Wonder if I go that way. I can break my way through here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Squeeze. Can you squeeze by? Oh, I have to press it. I thought it would show the little, like that, yeah. symbol. So I didn't think it was gonna work. But it did. Hmm. Do I have to jump this? I'm gonna do it. Nice. There we go. Oh, we got a ghosty. You do not go. Come get me. There we go. Easy peasy. Press R3 to lock. Okay. Everything alright down there? Just, just a sneaky wanderer. You? Spectral Same. Dust. But I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Okay, I thought that... Uh, that to me, that seems like a wall I could, like, climb up. Like with the vines, but I'm gonna assume I go this way. So we shall do that. Go through here again. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have trusted that house. Um, my grandma's house had an old falling down house like that, and my cousin tried to go in there. And he ran out, and then a bunch of crap fell over, and now there's no floor. I, I just think. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Oh, more wonders. Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. The heck does that mean? Like, literally? I take that literally. Tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. Okay, go down here now. And a dark crave. Crave. Yep, cave. I feel like I see blood. That I do not. Too slow. 
Attacking with your weapons fills the banished gauge. When the banished gauge is full, press X to banish your target. Time to leave for good. <laughs> So those other ones, are they not gone, I take it? I think not. I don't know if I'm supposed to pick up like everything that's here, but I'm going to. Is this a letter? Read. A note, damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year nine, uh, 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields would write, write, yeah, rain in their laughter. I cannot read today. Uh, their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something in cities walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. Now Eden is cursed. You who reads this, I tell you, run. These okay. people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Am I supposed to go? Okay, there it is. So I came the other way. Alright. An alpha wanderer. Hold R2 to deal a charged attack. Field. There we go. Not too shabby. I know I could make it more difficult, but I'm just not that type of person anymore. I used to like a challenge, but now, no. I, I'm here for the story and just that chill. That all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I think Charles is dead. I'm pretty certain he is. Because it sounds like... Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Other times, selectmen sitting on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. A welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Yeah, it'll I think be good Charles to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare, and we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. <laughs> I remember you telling her. I almost missed that because I was—I didn't realize that dialogue option came up because I was reading that it said I was in an investigation area, so I was not this paying must be attention. The end. Okay, I did not know that was a thing though. I we'll have to keep an eye on that. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Or as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume assumed... Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? 
A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> bruised. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss his investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. 
By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. All right. Uh, meet Esther Davenport at her house. So let's get going and do that. This place is damn it, Charles. Creepy. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. I wouldn't call them idiots. I mean, not everyone's like knowledgeable in certain things, so I would just say that. I think idiots is a little harsh. <sighs> and here, red. slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find thick skin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. 
We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these hints at any given moment through your haunting cases menu. Last hint obtained. After seeing her husband's ghost, grieving widow Esther was deeply distressed. I mean, sure. Is this just the hint? Okay. I don't really understand, but uh, to understand why a ghost lingers in the incarnate, you must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed and you may complete your investigation. Alright. Let's inspect this. Uh, am I going to have to read all of this? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can read. Oh, okay. 5th day of January, 1685. My beloved Esther, how, long, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate. Palate? I, I forget that word. Um, a sweet of which one cannot tire. At last we shall be together and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can ex extinguish the love between us, and I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for a marriage, and I'll make it so... I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the way of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. I'm thinking of you, your love, forever. Why did, it, did I just get a notification that this was installed? <laughs> Clearly it's installed. Okay. Whatever. Okay, Where are you staying, back? my dears? Shut up, I'm reading notes. Um, 21st day of February, 1687. My sweet Esther. I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that a few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge in all of this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, for when I can see the pride in your eyes, and I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything, as long as you look at me with that spark that is your, only yours. The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. Okay, I'll read this one. My sweet Esther. Oh wait, 12th day of August, 1694. I went... I, am I supposed to be reading all this? I, I don't know if I am. My sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. You're an angel fool from heaven to help me in the, my dark mission. You're the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet I feel so sorry for bringing you with this tortured land. You know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden. And I'm sorry to have you by my side, for I feel fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land there to raise our children, but I feel fear a curse. I think we should leave, or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, for I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. All right. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. All right, we'll go upstairs. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. All right, what's this? Where do nightmares come from? Oh, so much reading. Okay, I'm gonna just sit here, and you can pause it to read it, because I don't want to read it all, so. We'll go to the next part. Wait a few seconds. So you have time to pause it and read it if you would like. Because I don't feel like reading it. I don't feel like reading every note. You know, so. If 
Charles Davenport's brooch, a silver brooch habitually worn by Charles, engraved with a distinctive three-hilted sword. Charles okay. always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? You actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is. How long ago my Charles departed. My world has become undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I cannot attend the burial. Shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just cannot find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. There to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you who loved him so should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to. No, oh, well, I wish I would have known you thought you were going to talk. Three drops of lavender oil and chamomile infusion before sleep. Wintergreen, blah, 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 blah. This is kind of just the recipe. I could have made it manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. I wish I would have realized she was going to say more about um her not being able to say goodbye. But, whatever. Lo, children are in are in, in my god. Children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalm 127, 3. Okay. Broach, yeah. Okay, so I don't see anything else in here. Let's go in here. Yeah, we'll Faith in always here. was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser yeah. and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Which is fine. Like, I don't care, but that wig. You know the wigs back in the day. They, they didn't look good. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Precious king from a chest set protected by a glass dome. Why? That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Map. Okay. Scribbled Bible verses. Jo Job 7, 13, 15. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my cow shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with my dreams and terrifest me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red. You dropped something. Mm hmm. Maybe he didn't drop something. Maybe it was Charles. A book. Okay. These dressers are so cute. I know this is random, but the architecture in the old days, even just for like furniture, doesn't compare to today. We're lazy today. Anyway, Charles notes. None on this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and unnumberable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect there to be witches, and if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her her story. Interesting. a book. Okay. 
another book. Oh, whoa, what the camera just do? And the thing he dropped. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing, is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdure. And I go my dog's barking. So, if you can hear them. My apologies. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. All right, I'm going to go to the haunting cases and click on this and see... Uh, Charles was worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. Um, we have all hers. Uh, and exhausted by grief, she was unable to leave the house and tend the burial. Um, she did not properly bid her husband farewell and now suffers from it. I totally understand that because when I had to put my cat down during COVID, I couldn't go with her. And I feel that. So I kind of understand that pain that she has. Interesting, there's a locked door here. I don't know how to get in there. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. Sorry, sorry girl, we can't stay here all day. Do I inspect all this crap? Sadness is an interval or a study of the scale. I don't know, a music essay. That made no sense to me. Just another book. Well, sometimes the camera does this weird thing after I uh, look at something. It's just weird. And then just a sorry for your lost thing. Okay, let's just go to the cemetery. I'm ready to go. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present. We'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Are you be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Hi, you too. All right, let us head to the cemetery then, see what we can find. This is uh, pretty interesting so far. I really like, um, it's a unique game. Like the idea of it too is just very different and unique to me. Can I talk to you? Get okay. out of my way. Oh my God. Jeez, okay, fine. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Well, never mind. Can I talk to you or are you gonna be an ass? Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. What? Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course. I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. 
Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir, and to do it I need detail, if you please. A banisher must have charms, a trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death. Weather, too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Alright. So it sounds like he's a merchant I can go to. I don't really want to look at his stuff right now. Why does it show like it's above? I'm assuming it means over here, but I don't... Oh, what is that thing? A wisp. So close to town. Okay, I have noticed the music will just randomly cut off, and it did back there when we were talking to him. So, I don't know what that's about. The cemetery is closed. Not for me, bitch. Let me in. Here I come. Where are you leading me? All right, come on. Come get me. Oh, I unblocked at the wrong time. Where? Oh, they're there. Let's banish him. No one is safe here. All right. Inspect Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Take that. I don't know what it is. Striped wintergreen? Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Alright. We shall continue on. Do I go up? Or do I go down? My brain's saying up. Whoa, why did she just glow like that? Oh, I see something glowing over here. Take it. Pyrite. Okay. Wonder what the heck this is all like for. Can I not jump? I don't know if I can. This is not really doing anything. So, why is this glowing? Oh, mushroom. Fungus. All right. As a banisher, you can feel places. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, because her thing was, um, her thing did that, and it's still us. So we'll have to find out what it is. I wonder if we have inventory management, because... I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. I don't care for inventory management. Ah, uh, we'll go up here. 
There's a wisp over there, but I want to check this out. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? So we have a wisp here, so I'm going to assume this... Oh, it led us to something. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform ritual? Okay. Oh. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. So we need one more pyrite and one seashore candle. Okay. Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Okay. Here's some more pyrite. So we got enough for that. I'm not going to go up that way because it's telling me to go this way. Oh, it's Charles. You wait for us, old friend. I swear I'll make it up to you. All right. Well, let's hope. Okay, I think we go down here. Got something glowing here, but I don't think that looks like a candle. No. Oh. I took it as literal candles, not a plant. <laughs> I took it as literal candles. Okay. Well, I take that back then. Alright. I got a few. Oh god, that scared me. Ooh. That scared me when it popped up, to be honest. Alright. Well, you tried. But you failed miserably. Alright, I'll go back to the... Uh... Whatever it's called. Can I climb up this? I doubt it. No. Thinking I'm Spider-Man, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the ritual site. Okay. Back at the ritual site, so let's perform it. Alright. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which rituals should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you select an incorrect ritual. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Okay. I should have read what that said. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... <laughs> Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Interesting. All right. So we have updated our haunting cases. Investigate the haunting case to unlock information. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna say assume it was a heart attack facing the entity, terrifying entity threatening New Eden. Charles, Charles, heart gave out. Okay. If I could read properly today, that would be amazing. Okay. All right, this is where he died. Charles's Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at Job 7, 13, 15. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my con- I was going to read that as conch shell. 
And it's probably because I've been saying that a lot. Um, and referencing it a lot. Uh, my couch shall <laughs> ease my complaints. Then, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifest me through visions. So that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my life. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performed by Antea, I think that's her name, that's how you say it, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Okay. Oh, okay. I just wanted to click on that, but I'm not reading that again because it's the same crap. Oh, I thought that was something I could click on. It's just a lantern. Okay, back to his grave. Alright, we're at his grave now. Form ritual. What do I need to form it on? Okay, force a ghost respecter to appear. Using or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary. Okay, it's gonna be that one. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre, and just as relentless. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead. Dearest Dantea, but I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish it, Red and I. 
Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. 
Charles is at rest now. And Taya she gave him the care he needed. My child, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace, and you deserve to rest. Imagine this actually being like a real life thing. How hard would that be? I mean, like, I don't know. Though maybe some people would like it. To see their loved one one last time. Who knows? I thought they were going to say a little more, but apparently not. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. I don't know why we don't just stay here. That doesn't really make sense comfort her you know but whatever what do i know all right on our way to the schoolhouse all right we are at the schoolhouse now but where is he is this him yes he wants us to rest here is he playing the jaw harp I'm pretty certain he's playing the draw heart. Someone is. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But... But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to? You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't they? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This. Thing in the meeting house could be a, 
And did he call it a nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Alright, we're gonna end it here. I'm gonna just leave it on a little cliffhanger. Because we have to go find her. And I think it's the perfect time to stop this episode. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment below what you thought, and subscribe for more content. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Later, taters.